I'm Carrie from Lovely Etc. and today I want to show you around my screened in porch. I just finished giving this room a total makeover on a tiny budget and I'm really excited to share it. This is my favorite kind of room makeover because it's filled with furniture flips and DIY projects and lots and lots and lots of paint and it all came together to make a really great room that I really love for not very much money. So let's take a look around. I'm excited to share this room because it's my favorite room in our house, but also I think it's a really great example of how to create a space you really love for cheap. I may not be the best stylist or designer out there, and in fact I know I'm not, even though I've gotten a lot better with practice, but what I am really good at is making the most of what I've got and staying on a budget and putting together a room that I truly love without spending a lot of money. It drives me crazy when magazines and TV shows talk about making over a room for a budget and they're still spending thousands and thousands of dollars and they're saying how it's such a budget makeover because they bought the $500 light fixture instead of the $2,000 one. Um, that is a budget, technically, but that is not my budget and I think for a lot of people it's more helpful to see things that truly are not costing a lot of money. I'm talking sometimes even free. So let me show you around the room. So this porch is an amazing space because as you can see it has this incredible view overlooking nothing but trees and a whole bunch of my kids toys that are in the yard but you can't see any neighbors and it's huge and I mean what a great space for relaxing. But when we moved in it did not um, necessarily look so great. It had AstroTurf carpeting, um, peach walls, fake flowers in the window boxes, and just generally was not a very inviting space. So after the AstroTurf and the peach walls, I actually painted the floor and the walls in here um, not that long after we moved in, which was a good 10 years ago. So this year they were definitely ready for a fresh update, and that was the first step. I painted all the walls fresh white again. There was... Um, this house was built in the 70s, so there were some ugly intercoms over in this area that I removed. I changed out the light fixture, and this little cute galvanized light fixture was actually <laughs> something I found at a yard sale and hang hung on to for a while because I knew I would eventually use it. Um, so, painted the walls. I also painted and stenciled the floor, which turned out amazing, and I have a video all about that process. I also painted the <laughs> sliding doors the aluminum window frames. Guys, I painted everything. <laughs> I painted everything white because it's clean, it's fresh. It's not always the easiest to keep clean, although it hasn't been too bad, but it really just draws your eye back out to the part that's awesome, which is the view. Um, and I also built these wooden shutters and painted them as well. Okay, so as far as the furniture goes, like I said, I am all about reusing what you have, finding things inexpensively, and turning them into something that you love. So this couch, first of all, was given to us for free by a friend um, about 10 years ago. It was not my style so much. It was hunter green with pink floral cushions, but with some fresh white paint, it looked a million times better. I also painted the pink cushions blue because I don't know if you've ever looked at outdoor furniture cushions, but they're very expensive. So I decided it was worth giving it a try. The results are not perfect. <laughs> As you can see, you can still see some of the floral pattern a little bit, and I would still kind of like to replace this couch one day, but for now it looks a hundred times better and it's fine. It doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, and because everything else around it's pretty nice, it just kind of blends in and looks nice too. The same friend also gave us this wicker trunk, which I also painted, <laughs> and one of these rocking chairs. The second I found at a yard sale for about 10 bucks, and again, I just gave him a fresh coat of paint. This cute little table in between here is a kid's table and chairs set that was in terrible condition, again, from a yard sale. Yard sales are my favorite. The table got a makeover with a bit of paint as well. And it also came with these two cute little chairs down here. Um, same thing, got new paint. This blue cabinet down here at the end is something that I actually found on the side of the road when I was driving one weekend and it was in rough, rough shape. 
um, very dirty and did not look like this, but there's just something about the proportions and the size and the beadboard that just really caught my eye and I knew it could be something beautiful. So I also gave it a little paint makeover, now it's blue, I refinished the top and I think it looks beautiful out here. So we also have this big table. This I actually built. This is one of the first pieces of big major furniture that I ever built and I love how it turned out. I also built the bench. The tabletop is made from some old wide boards that a family member gave to me and then the base is just made from 4x4s. The cute little bench is made from 2x4s which are super inexpensive and I think that they look great together. It would be wonderful for an inside space with a bit of farmhouse style and I think it looks perfect out here. I did buy the chairs on Amazon. They were the only piece of major furniture that I bought new but they were still a pretty good deal and I love how they look with the table and the bench. And then finally we have the day bed, which was my most recent build. Um, I have a video showing exactly how to build it. It's actually pretty easy and I, again, love how it turned out. It's one of my favorite things I've ever made. It's super comfy and just such an inviting space. Um, the little basket table is actually a basket that we were using for a clothes hamper and I had that round piece of wood from a previous DIY project fail <laughs> hanging out in the basement. It's kind of like a tray thing. and put them together, made a table. For now, the day bed is covered with a piece of drop cloth that's just pinned in place. And I also made all of those pillows, except for one, um, just using, I used some outdoor fabric, I used some old shower curtain fabric, um, I used some old clothes that I <laughs> wasn't gonna be using anymore. I used all kinds of things to make pillows. And I did spray everything, including the drop cloth, with Scotchgard heavy duty waterproofing spray, so we'll see how it holds up. Most of the accessories in the room are also things that I've thrifted over time. Love these cute little fans, and even better, they actually work, which is great because it can get hot out here and it's nice to have a nice fan blowing on you. I also built the large lantern, but the smaller one is one that I just had tucked away. This Home Sweet Home sign is a super easy DIY project using a stencil. And then finally, a basket wall. I know they're super trendy. I thought about not doing one, but I just really like it. I like how it adds a little bit of warmth. It's simple and it fits the space. I also added these beautiful string lights. The only light that was on the porch is the one way down at the end that I showed you, the metal one. So these are just perfect for lighting up the whole space at night and they're really pretty affordable as well. Okay, so that is my screen and porch on a budget filled with things I've made, found, put together, built, painted, basically all the things to put together an entire room that I honestly really love. I think more than if I had just bought everything that I wanted from a bunch of stores. Now I'm going to be honest, it took a lot of time, especially all that painting. This is not something where it's like, oh look what I did in three days. Not at all. This took some time. But I love how it came together. I didn't have to spend all of our money to create it. and. Now we have a great space. I have full step-by-step -step tutorials for most of the DIY projects in this space on my website, lovelyetc.com, and I will be sure to link all of those in the video description below, as well as links to the few things that I bought for the space in case you want to check those out as well. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel, Lovely Etc., where I share lots of DIY project tutorials and ideas for creating a home that you love on a budget using the home that you actually have.